Welcome, foolish mortals. I am your host, your ghost host. Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to my Indie Game Collective showcase of Midnight Fight Express. Whether this is your first time or your hundredth time on my channel, hit the subscribe button, won't you? By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. I cover a lot of indie games, indie demos, and great content like this mean developers. So you're all things indie, you found your haunt where... We have 999 happy haunts here. But there's always room for one more. Hit that subscribe button today and become part of the mansion. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is an indie game collective showcase of the game. So you may be wondering, what exactly is an indie game collective? Well, we're a grassroots community of content creators who focus solely on indie games. And we do so through live streams, videos, written reviews, Steam curation, podcasts, social media, and so much more. In fact, if you go to the description below, you'll find a link to our Twitter page. We can find out more about us, how you can join us, even if I can get your game showcased by us. At this time, I'd like to thank developer Jacob Deswanel. I butchered the crap out of that last name. Deswanel. And publisher Humble Games for hooking me up with a copy of the game. And the Indie Game Collector for allowing me to showcase it to you, my audience. So enough of the pleasantries, what exactly is Midnight Fight Express? A former member of the criminal underworld is lured back into the life by a mysterious drone claiming that they have until sunrise to prevent a citywide criminal takeover together. This has extremely positive reviews on Steam. Came out August 23rd of this year. Has the tags of action, beat em up, fighting, 3D, isometric. And you can go to the description below and you'll find a link to the Steam page directly. Where you can pick it up for $20 USD. You may be like, Bruce, man, I can't swing 20 bucks at the moment. Times are tough. Hey, trust me, I know. I completely understand. If this sort of thing is your jam and you want to get it for yourself, wishlist it. By wishlisting the game, you're notified should it go on sale in the future. And just a reminder, both Steam's Next Fest and Steam's Fall Sale are right on the corner, so... I'm not saying, but I'm not not saying either, so you never know. It is fully controller supported. Um, I will go ahead and give you a warning now that there's going to be some violence. And if you look at the uh, top right corner, it says this game contains bright flashing lights and or imagery that may cause discomfort and or seizures for those with photosensitivity epilepsy. Play discretion is advised. Just so you know, I removed all screen shake, I removed all motion blur, I removed all flashing lights. I don't have epilepsy or photosensitivity, but I, I do have motion sickness issues. And so screen shake and motion blur, they get to me. So that's the first thing I, I take off when I play a game. I know it kind of ruins the aesthetic and the thing that the developer is going for. But hey, I have to be able to play it. And I can't play it with all that extra stuff. So it may be taking a little bit away from it, but I do apologize. But you know what? We made it this far, so... There's no turning back now. So if you made it through my rambling, subscribe and like right now. And let's get into this. I have no idea. Let's see normal. Standard enemy reaction, 100% health, partly recharging health, full focus capabilities, aggressive enemy reaction. We'll go normal. Since we've never played it, we'll go normal. If we're too overpowered, maybe we'll restart and go to the next level. Act 1. It's not use. It's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person. Does that mean my underwear? This is Agent Smithman. So, babyface, right? I'm just going to call you that since our records don't show anything else. This is Agent McLoon. Kind of like you're a ghost. We don't like ghosts. They have a tendency to cause trouble and disappear. Classic ghost. Now listen up. You claim innocence. No memory before the attack began. Say you were just trying to help. But we know that isn't true. You're part of this whole... Oh. I'm like, that word doesn't register me because it's... You're part of this whole thing. The attack on the city, mobilizing the gangs, all of it. What we don't know is why. If we can figure out the why, we can figure out the how. And we can stop the hell. Come on, buddy. Tell us the why. Help us save the city. And maybe you won't get the death penalty. Maybe. Start at the top. Retrace your steps. Anything you can remember might help us figure out exactly who you are. Don't hold back, or else we certainly won't. Now, what's this about? Talking drone? 
There I was in my room minding my own business. And this drone crashed in my window with a bucket of chicken. And I'm like, I don't want no chicken drone. And the drone's like, you need the chicken finger licking. I have no idea what that's about. My brain broke there for a second. A little tutorial, a little toot. Left and lost it to move. Oh, dang. It's chaos, utter relentless chaos, a citywide takeover perpetrated by the power hungry lowlifes. Do not, I repeat, do not go to the civilian evacuation sites. They're honeypots for the vulnerable and panicked. They don't want anyone leaving the city. These criminals, they're everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Even though, no, they're here, they're in the building. If anyone out there still alive and watching, trust nobody. Save yourselves. And remember, this program was made to you possible by generous, caring viewers such as yourself. Hey, Babyface, yeah. You, let me out of here. What type of door slot is that? That's Droney. You know, Droney. My friend Droney. Too slow, friend. No time to waste. Wow. This is your place. No cult of personality concerns here. I, I got, no, I got cold personality stuck in my head. Thank you. Thank you, game. They really drained the noggin of yours, huh? We can fix that. But first, don't think I need to tell you our beautiful city tomorrow. But first, don't think I need to tell you our beautiful city of tomorrow has gone all the sorts to hell. Can really use a little saving. So here's the deal. You're a sleeper agent, a brutal mercenary in a trance, waiting for a drone in a shining armor like yours truly to wake you up from this little daydream. I only ask one itsy bitsy favor in return. Help me save the city and all the good hearted smucks in it before sun up or the crooks will get full control. Do that and you'll get your real life back and see who sees a brighter tomorrow after all. Now let's get moving. Won't be a tomorrow if we get don't get our stuff done today. Let's not kind of tomorrow. Let's not at least not the kind of tomorrow you want to see. Boy, my brain is she a broken? What are they doing out there in the hall? Can I break any of these boxes? Nope. Jump out the window. Interact with them? No thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Gotta reactivate you. Applying a little noise cream should warm up those muscles, right? Man, I hope this music's not copyrighted. Because that's going to piss me off. Alright, we're spreading. Looking good, friend. No fear, no luck. Jeez. Is he also a gymnast? Ah, our first batch of bozos. I'll hunt civilians. Should be no trouble for you. Introducing the bozos. Oh, you survived, huh? Well, it's all coming back to you, huh? More ahead. Someone tells me you got this. Press Y to block incoming melee attacks. Perfect blocks. Press left button. Remember to keep an eye on your health bar. On lower difficulties, health is partially regenerated. Okay, so yeah. I just wasn't doing it right. Okay. I think I'm blocking this a little too early.
All right, we're sprinting. Come here so I can hit you. Oh, man. He didn't ask for that. Where are you going? Huh? You know what? Some moves can block your heavy attacks. Come on, let's go. Keep trying to use a uh, left uh, left button. Look at all your knocking skulls, champ. The basics are in your blood. You still got a whole lot to remember. Memories and moves. We'll get there in time. For now, let's go to sort of new excuses for criminals. Okay. Boop. You know what you got here, boys? Just some pathetic prick thinking he can buy it off of us. Sneak his family out safe and all. But, um, he's paying for services. What, what's the problem here? Don't you get it? They're already buried in a pit somewhere. It's time for you to join them. Now that's the kind of dirtbag that really gets my blood boiling. That means we turned up the heat. The Rage Meter will help build up the engaged combat. Rage enhances the power of your combat abilities for a short time. I mean, you can just really just swing for the fences if you want to. Look at you shaking rage style. Yeah, we get used to that. Kind of hook on some bozos. You're all that commotion, better be the pizza guy. No pizza delivery, idiot. We got the pie. Let's take a miss. Come on. When your rage meter is full, rage mode will activate automatically for a short period of time during combat. Oh my god, their heads are popping off. Some enemies are stronger than others and requires you to break their defenses in other words to make them vulnerable. I bet you come out from the corner so I can see you. There we go. Go. Oh, they got weapons. How cute. Block the effect against the weapons when on arm. Use. <laughs> Poor guy can't save them all, but we can't sure as hell try. These batons are yours for taking. Hell not anymore. My, okay, they have durability. Look at me closer or I'll slit this guy's throat. Wrench? Well, holding a weapon, press right trigger to throw it and then by. Throwing weapons at enemies will temporarily stun them and break their attacks. Different throwing weapons have various effects against them. 
Bullseye. Slowly working. You're really doing it. Saving the city. I think I'm tearing it up. But I digress. Get more bozos out of these doors. Let's go. Focus allows you to scan the environment and enemies around you. Fill up the focus bar by landing accessible attacks on enemies. That was some great A precision right there. Never seen anything like that. Why don't we make a memory out of this beautiful moment, huh? I could snap a photo or two for you. Then we bash a few more heads, okay? Okay. Some of our objects can be picked up and thrown at enemies. Use focus to easily identify them around you. Where's your oyster, friend? Leaving your pearls of pain all over. Like that chair, a real killing tool, if you ask me. Why am I going to kill him? Let's go. Oh, you're still alive? Of course, there are actually tools designed with plenty of mind to use, like foiling again there. Let's see if we can find some light hungry bozos. Guess it's limited amount of ammo. Don't need that. Haha! <laughs> Psych! I have another gun. No, I dare say we make a great quite a pair. You with all the killing and the bad dudes, me bringing the hype. And... So I had enough practice. Time to get to the streets. Remember, there's a full-scale criminal takeover in progress. Ain't working. Come on, first major targets. Hopefully the robot talks less outside the demo I mean outside the tutorial this is your hideout this place where you can customize your character between levels unlock new skills and such more the levels panel allows you to select the level you want to play you can return to the previous levels at any time each level has its own unique items that you can unlock by completing challenges challenges are listed here after the levels unlocked here you can learn more about enemies okay parents click on panel on okay Parries and counters. Follow up your chain strikes with powerful finishing move. Grapple. Uh, press the grapple. Uh, I mean. I love grapple. Jeez. I'm more of a... Yeah, that's probably more accurate. No hairstyles, though. That's cool, I skins for that.
All right, all right. En enough of this. Let's just. Let's just play the damn game. I could get lost in the character creation and all that. Just remember grapple. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Collect gold teeth from enemies allows you to unlock additional items in the game. Our first little target is little Tony. Roll out of life. Start scumbag. Give me shape. Little Tony's meathead. Bozos. Look, my, look, my dude. I just want to. I just want to beat the crap out of some people. Like that's just what I want to do. Explosive reductions and override. Little Tony wants us going big. Come on, come on, little Tony ain't gonna wait on little boom. Come on. Some of our items can be used to explosives. He had a gun? What else you got? Bulky bozos? Yo, who are you? Wait, don't answer. I want to be able to tell your bones breaking. Some bones can grapple attacks, like fire the player press. How'd that work out for him? Factor Zampi, let's check the back. No loose ends. Okay, let's just grab this. Square, Piazza, Plaza, it's all the same. Oh, he's dead already, okay. Let's take care of that. Now, our little Tony himself. So, sneaky hideout. Bozo Brothel. Let's call it his little Tone Bones. No. I might make that the name of the freaking episode is uh, the Tone Bone Zone. Let's see. We have the game score. We have the best combo, kill, diversity. Time bonus, no death bonus. New skill point, new challenges. I mean... Kill diversity, I mean, there's only so many things you can do. Not unless you're sitting there just picking up everything and around you and just throwing and hitting people with it. I think the time's pretty good. I mean, we went pretty much straight forward. I'm not sure you can chain combo the whole stage. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can chain combo the whole stage. Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh man! I think I'm out of bullets, uh... That was a lot faster, better combo. There we go. I guess you just have to keep going through over and over again to get as many gold teeth as possible. Combo master. Perform a finisher on enemies with low health. Slam enemies to the ground. Follow up chain strikes with powerful finishing move. Drag enemies around and finish them off. That's a cool disarm weapon. Give me out and perform a powerful series of punches. Use a rope gun to secondary gun. That's interesting. Let's keep going down this grapple one. Let's uh, eh. It's kind of cool. Anything else? Drone skins. That's a lot of money. So there's definitely a lot to this game for sure, but um, let's go do it for my look at Midnight Fight Express. Um, you can play it as a beat it up. I'll beat him up. You can play it as like a Hotline Miami chain combo type of situation. Um, so there's definitely varying uh, styles. Plus it has a lot of replayability. Getting all the collectibles. Uh, getting S ranks. Moving up the leaderboard. So it has a lot to offer. I'll definitely be returning this in the future. And if this is your type of jam, don't forget to go to the description below to the Steam page to pick it up for 20 bucks USD. And if you can't swing that right now, definitely wishlist it if this is your jam, bebe. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe as always by watching and liking the video. You tell YouTube to show it to more people, and then they keep showing it, so forth and so on. And that's basically how you beat the YouTube algorithm. Plus, 
by liking the video, let me know I'm doing a good job, and a pat on the back is nice every once in a while. It lets me know I should keep up the content. I'll be back at it again tomorrow with more indie games, indie demos, great content like this from the developers. And until then, my sleeper agent, ball busting badasses. Here we go. Oh, oh, hold on. My memory was awoken to grab the sign. I'll haunt you later. Ooh.